This week in the studio, we're going to be talking about exposure stacking. Uh, what an exposure stacked image is, is one image, or it's going to end up being a composite, which a, a composite is a collection of uh, different images. Um, an exposure stacked image is going to be one product. Our product is going to be this Mountain Dew bottle. And what we're going to do is we're going to take one light source and we're going to uh, shoot uh, lots of different pictures using this one light source and lighting this bottle from a lot of different angles. And then we may end up with 10 pictures, we may end up with 50 pictures. And what we'll do is we're going to take each of these images, we're going to pull them up into Photoshop, we're going to stack them up in layers, and what we're going to do is we're going to use each of these exposures to reveal a different area of this image. So it's going to be one composite, one final image, but be made up of multiple different images, multiple different exposures from multiple different angles of light. So let's take a look at how we do this. You can use uh, any type of equipment, continuous light, uh, monostropes or whatnot. Uh, since we haven't used speed lights in the studio yet, uh, today we're going to be using a speed light to light this. This speed light needs to be uh, triggered off camera. Uh, you can buy uh, triggers for your speed lights, but for you guys what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with these pocket wizards. We're going to connect one pocket wizard to our camera. We're going to connect this other pocket wizard to our speed light. We've got these pocket wizard connectors right here with a hot shoe mount. One end is going to go on the bottom of the speed light hot shoe right here, and this other end is going to plug into the flash port of the pocket wizard. Let me get that of the pocket wizard. I'm going to put that in the flash port. I'm going to make sure that uh, this pocket wizard and the pocket wizard on my camera are on the same channel. I'm going to take this other end, put it on the end of my speed light right here, and I'm just going to lock it, make sure that it's good. And we're pretty much ready to shoot, so let's see what we can get. All right, so the type of exposure stacking that we're going to be doing is we're going to take the speed light and we're going to move this speed light around this product. Now, you can get all type of modifiers for these speed lights that work well. What we're going to use for our demo, a piece of white foam core. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot into the foam core and let the light reflect back off onto our product. So let's take a look at how we can go in and do this. So I am shooting in manual. I'm shooting around f11. I've got my shutter speed uh, on about 125th of a second and my ISO is going to be around 100 for this first shot. My speed light settings, uh, I'm shooting in manual on my speed light and what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the power of this speed light to either give me more light on my subject or, or less light. So let's go in and let's get this started. So that looks pretty good. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of different images and we're going to use our speed light basically to bounce this light off of this and then back onto our product. In doing this, what we'll get is we'll get a lot of different exposures from a lot of different angles. shoot this one. Bare bulb right in front of the bottle. So we can take as many exposures as we think we need. I would always take more than you think you need because once you get into the studio uh, you can choose which ones you want to use and which pieces you want to use. And what we'll do next uh, is we'll take a look at how we can go in and we can edit. Uh, this exposure stacked uh, image, which will basically be a combination of all of these different exposures. 